This is a very simple oscillator circuit I just built. Um, it's called a neon oscillator. Also, um, it's also called a Pearson Anson oscillator. It's uh, one of the simplest relaxation oscillators out there, and it works because the uh, neon bulb on the right side. Uh, has a difference between its so-called striking voltage and the sustaining voltage. And if I turn it on at a very low voltage, just at around 80 volts, you can actually see it oscillating fairly slowly. If I turn up, turn up the voltage to around. 200 volts, um, you can no longer see the oscillation, um, but if you look at, at the waveform on the oscilloscope, you can see it's um, so-called a uh, sawtooth oscillator. And it will create a sort of triangular sawtooth shaped waveform. Um, so, this circuit consists of only only three circuit elements. Uh, one is a resistor here on, on the left and power is, is fed into the oscillator via this resistor and then it's just a capacitor connected across the neon bulb. The capacitor in this case is a 27 nanofarad capacitor. The voltage over the capacitor is slowly rising till it reaches the so-called striking voltage of the neon bulb. And after the neon has struck, it has a very, very low resistance. So the voltage over the capacitor will uh, decrease very fast, and it will fall below the so-called sustaining voltage of the neon, and the neon will uh, go off again, and then the capacitor starts, starts charging again.